Well, ever since the beginning of time, water has been on this earth. More water than land in some points in time. And if you really want to know where we're going and what we need to be prepared for, well, we're going to cover that in, that video, in this video right here. So let's take a little bit, a step back in time, and let's go for a ride. What do you say? Here we go. Sure all you're going to enjoy the ride? Hold on, because it's about to get real. We're taking off. We're blasting off. One of the greatest shuttle programs ever. And then history of, of American people. All right, as we are taking off at this point in time, we'll be entering the Earth's atmosphere. We're going back and we're gonna talk a little bit about where we've come from, where it all started. And this is what is going to determine what we need to be prepared for. Oh, we're in space now, folks. And if you take a look around, Yes, we're surrounded by space rocks and everything that still are forming all the planets and everything that we do live on. And once all that did take place, well, bam, here we are. It is the Earth, the beautiful Earth. Everything is formed, ready to go, water, the whole nine yards. The ecosystem is growing and everything else. And then the next thing that happened was, here we go. <clears throat> Everybody's caveman. Yes, they invented fire, they invented everything, and they were the only ones that were inventing things. As we progressed along in history, all the scientists from the yesteryears were all studying the stars, the skies, the planets, and everything else, and they based everything on those. There's a lot of different people out there. And then all of a sudden, things started to change and we come into a solar minimum. They figured out exactly what that was. And we are going through something like that right now. It's called a grand solar minimum. And this way here, guess what? It's affecting a lot of things on this planet. Now, things started to change. Things started to evolve. The earth was kind of getting a little angry, folks. You know, and it's still a little bit angry. It seems like it's just getting sick and tired of us people. So we ended up having volcanoes and earthquakes and everything else, massive volcanoes that basically destroyed a lot of the earth as we know today. Now, then you turn around and what happens? Nowadays, we're getting these tremendous storms that are just unbelievable. You know, cataclysmic storms that are just devastating the way that we do and live our lives nowadays. And this is another reason why you want to be prepared because these storms are just popping up all over the place and we haven't even got to the major ones yet. These are just your average everyday storms which are causing and wreaking havoc on our whole environment and ecosystem and everything else. Our food supplies, the way we do business, your power, everything else is taking a hit from all these different types of storms. So there's so much that you have to be prepared for. You may even want to take in consideration, depending on where you live, to buy a boat. You might just need a boat because you know what? The flooding that has been going on over the last 20 years has just been incredible, folks. It just doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, whole towns are underwater. The only way to get around is by a boat. So maybe you need to get a boat, you know, or some type of a little raft or something to get around, you know? And then we all try to just calm things down a little. Let's just take a look at the flame. It's a beautiful flame. Oh, fire is such a beautiful thing when it is used properly. When it's not, well, then we're into all these different forest fires and everything else that's devastating the whole planet. From here in America to Brazil, the rainforest, everywhere you go, these fires are destroying everything. And then on top of that, well, you're not in Kansas anymore, folks, because the tornadoes and everything have been just 
unbelievable, right? I mean, you just can't fathom what some of these people have gone through and are going through. You know, if you've never lived in Tornado Alley or been in a tor tornado prone area, it's a scary fact because you don't get much notice. And then you get the ice storms that we've had just this year. What is going on? You know, devastating ice storms, millions of people without power, frozen water pipes, no water for weeks, no power for weeks, no way to get around. If the food and stuff can't get to the stores, well, you can't buy it. Why, you need to be prepared. The ice starts forming on all the trees, the power lines, and everything else. And when you talk a tenth of an inch of ice or more, well, folks, that's a bad situation and a bad combination to be in. If you've ever been in an ice storm, it ain't fun. So, we all sit back and we're seeing snow in areas where it's never snowed before. Take a look at Mexico. Lord, it was snowing in Mexico this year. But yet, what's going on? Is it global warming? Well, maybe we shouldn't use that term, right? I mean, because we don't want to offend anybody here. So, something's going on. All the ice caps from the North Pole to the South Pole are all melting. All the water is just running right off of them. They're all melting. So what do you think is going to happen when this whole process gets done and everything is melted away? What's going to happen? Everything is going to start to rise. All the oceans, the lakes, the streams, and everything else. The water has to go somewhere, folks. And maybe it just wants to come back and take back the land that was once theirs. Now, let's get into hurricanes, typhoons, whatever you would like to call it. These have been just devastating storms over the past 20 years. All right, They come in with a vengeance. They are the worst thing that could actually happen to anybody, any area, at any point in time. Because, yes, you do get a warning when they are coming. But as you can see in this video, what happens is, is when it comes ashore, it's not just taking a small little path, maybe, you know, a, a mile wide, like maybe a, a huge F5 tornado. It's taking hundreds of miles, and whatever is in its path, won't be there when it's done. As you're going to see right now, here we go. Everybody wants to live along the beach, but what happens? Well, you're ground zero. You might as well be living right where they're going to drop a nuclear bomb, because more than likely, that's what it'll look like when the storm is done and gone. Don't mean to scare anybody here, but let's be realistic, folks. When a Category 4 or 5 hurricane comes ashore, wherever it makes landfall, it's not going to be pretty. There'll be nothing left but concrete slabs, and sometimes those are even gone. We have to really sit back and take a look at our hurricane preparedness. Now, I have done an extensive playlist with lots and lots of videos on just that particular subject on my channel. Yes, on this channel, you can find out all types of information on being prepared for hurricanes. Now, granted, once it gets up to a Cat 4 or Cat 5, you don't want to be in the area anymore. You want to evacuate and get the hell out because more than likely, your nice little home that you have won't be there. The scientists are all trying to figure out exactly what to do. You know, they're trying to come up with all the answers. You know, they're all putting their heads together, writing on their chalkboards, and they're sitting there and they're wondering, wow, how can we fix this? How can we play Mother Nature? Well, they've been doing that. You know, they love to play Mother Nature. I've done some videos that have talked about that, you know, where they're doing stuff with the clouds to make rain and snow, where they're trying to get away from the drought. But in the end, you know what it is, folks? It's all the people that are in this world, not just this country, this whole world. There's so many people, there's so much technology, there's so many things that are using power and everything else. So if the grid goes down, the technology is gone, we're left with still all the people. And then the unrest starts because nobody has food, water, they don't have a job, they don't have money. So they're gonna take matters into their own hands because that's what happens nowadays. You know, I mean, they just go out and then they start destroying everything. But then they ask themselves, 
you know, they're in their own neighborhoods and they destroy all this stuff and they're asking themselves, well, we don't have anything. Well, that's because you destroyed it, right? But that's what happens when if the grid goes down, there's no power, there's no nothing. So we're back to the whole beginning where it all started. Little rocks floating in space, spinning around, making the planets. You know, you may wonder if somebody thought maybe it wasn't a good idea. But the astronomers from yesteryear, they all were very positive. They saw something that no man has ever seen before. They plotted the stars. They could sail the seas. They could find planets. They could do it all. And all we want to do nowadays is hop on a ride and take off and go somewhere else. And that place, folks, is Mars. Yes, we have already started our journey to Mars. We have robots and stuff up there right now, which, if you think about it, is kind of cool. But if you also look at it from a billionaire's, you know, viewpoint here, what is taking place? This is what's taking place, folks. They want to get away because they know we've already took care of all this stuff. They want to move on down the road. They don't want to be here anymore because we've already depleted this whole area. So I'm survival preparedness for beginners. And unless we start taking care of this planet and being prepared for all these different types of natural disasters that are getting worse year by year, we aren't gonna be around either. So you get balls in your court, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did offend you or if you did find it offending, I am sorry. But sometimes some things just have to be said. So until next time, you all stay positive, stay prepping, and make sure that you and your family are ready for the next cataclysmic disaster that may be knocking on your door because it's coming to town near you soon. Till next time, I'll catch everybody on the flip side.